Hi friends, this is the Rate I Old Monk and today we are talking about the new Android Q Beta, the first edition of Beta and this is on the Pixel 2 XL what I am using. So I just installed in the device here, you can see the Android version is Android Q but if you click it multiple times it will show Pi still nothing on the Q, no hint is there about Q here. Now going back uh, in the device here you can see there will be 6 beta updates coming for the device you can pause the video and check the timeline for it and also in the uh, video here you can see the android version is Q written so this is the latest update what google has assigned I will drop the link from where you can download it few major changes are there in the developer option if you go in the bottom here you can see there is the accent color which you can play it with the black green or the purple color or there is another default color which you can go and switch into now uh, talking about the setback in the device there is no dark mode coming in the device maybe it will be coming in the beta 2 or beta 3 but currently it is not there uh, I have also got two more active buttons here you can see there is a enable free from windows and force desktop mode uh, we still don't know what it is for but uh, maybe the post desktop is for using it into the secondary screen or into the desktop mode what we have seen with the Samsung uh, desk uh, kind of feature. So this is what we are getting now talking about the split screen. We have few bugs still there which are not working for the device and if you skip those things it is work, um, working perfectly fine now another major change in the device is that here you can see it tells you that the battery life it will uh, last up to 10 45 pm which was earlier not present now talking about the lock screen also the percentage of battery has gone to the top rather than in the bottom so this is one more significant change is what we have seen in the device or in the operating system what we can say here now coming to another feature going to the settings here in the display here you can see there is no theme option given which was earlier present in the devices so there is no light theme dark theme or the default theme it is only white theme currently right now maybe google will be rolling it soon there is a privacy mode given in the device this privacy mode is specially for the app uh, permission in which you can go and check the settings has been changed a little bit and i will show you where in the this if you go you will see that there are some settings given you can go and allow or deny them earlier it was just a toggle button now talking about the ui definitely it is uh, nothing a major change has been there but there are very small changes what i have seen and noticed uh, just in few hours after uh, installing it now going to the apps in the app section also if you go in a specific app info there is been a small change given like going to the whatsapp here you can see there is a direct open button where you can open the app directly uninstall post stop there is also notification that how many notifications per day you are getting and how to manage them you can play it around i haven't checked that or seen in the detail right now but this section is currently the new one now going back again and uh, showing you uh, to the camera app now if you go to the camera app here you can see there is a direct option of opening it now talking about the permission now google has already specified in their last event that it will tell the users what is the uh, current permission it is need the application is needed to access it which is a great thing for the user also at the same time they should know that it is uh, getting your phone is getting access for your location or your camera or contacts phone whatever it is so that is a good part that google has implemented it because the user should know that what permission they are granting to the uh, apps what they are using currently right now now talking about the notification nothing major change has been in the toggle button but there is a major significant change if you go into the wi-fi here you are getting a scan code but before that you have to give the permission for that and here you can see the Wi-Fi is there if you just scan it you can access the Wi-Fi again in another device so that is a good thing this is a, a major significant thing what we, they have given the major setback of the previous Android version was sharing was taking a too long time here you can see they have definitely improved the sharing button once you go into the share mode and it will pop up very soon and definitely copy clipboard is the first one what you are getting so this is actually a good feature what uh, they have given in that uh, OS and after that there is one more feature what I have found 
so if you go in the notification setting here you can see if you go and if you put into the left side there are two buttons what you are getting so one is for the snooze for uh, one hour and there is one more thing where you can get it blocked the notification can be blocked it could be silent or it can be alerting so these are the features what you are getting and if you swipe it to the right side the notification gets off now you are getting a lock screen display this is a new uh, section or category which is included in the display section nothing major change in it it is just uh, uh, having few more things in a categorized way so this is what you are getting in uh, the lock screen display now talking about digital well being this is the same what we have seen earlier but this time what you are getting is the gray scale here you can see the gray scale is there and the apps will turn into black and white and again if you put it off uh, using the wind down uh, you can see the things will be colored again so this is also one more change what we have seen in the device now going to another thing the apps icons have been changed a little bit they are more circular and more metallic design uh, this was not present in the android p version now talking about the typing in the keyboard there is one more change what i have seen so if you put just hello it goes on but if you put in hindi kaise ho uh, something like that so there is a red line coming under underline if you select it then you get some options and you can try it out you can directly put it into bold you can go and put it into italic or uh, other than that there is a strike through here you can see it has been striked now again i am putting kaise and going to the another menu which is the mono space here you can see there is a mono space in the front and the back of kaise now playing it around and this is a one more change where you are going you can directly go and share it wherever you want it do the specific word and the another thing what you are getting is the select all which you can select you can replace you can replace it the with the suggested keywords or the words now the lastly we are getting a translate here the google translate is coming automatically and it will tell you that what is the meaning of the word which kaise means actually how so this is what we are getting in the android q beta 1 stage edition if you find anything just let us know in the comment section we will be happy to put in the another video which will be for the beta 2 or the beta 3 and the Uh, more five betas are coming beta edition and after that there will be the final alpha release of android q this is at the rate i old monk signing off please like the video share the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us